Hey 40 plusers, Deborah here. Welcome to YouTube people and all of my new subscribers. Hi! I love you all! You're awesome. So, we are gathered here today to do an Ipsy. This is Ipsy for January, first one of 2015. Um, so we're going to start off with a disclaimer. I'm a three-year-old. I open presents because I get presents. So I've already mucked around with this a little bit. Um, and although I'm not wearing any of it, and I kind of have an idea of what's going on here. So. Ipsy is doing a one year subscription giveaway. So if you take a, a snap of your Ipsy bag and hashtag it January Glam Bag, you will be entered to win. And here's the Ipsters, or whatever you want to call them. They're, they're bloggers, um, none of which are brunette. Are, are willingly brunette. Some are naturally brunettes, but come on, what's wrong with being a brunette? All right, first thing I grabbed out of the bag is Hikari Eyeliner in Storm. Okay, so it's got the sharpener on one end and it clicks in and it's a twisty it also retracts and it's kind of gunmetal looking So that's Hikari Eyeliner in Storm. All right, and I could see wearing that. I don't, I'm, I'm not a black liner girl. I wear taupe, I wear green, I wear purple, I wear plum, I wear nudes. I wear rose gold, so I don't see why I wouldn't wear gunmetal. I'll wear it. Uh, so, Echo Beauty by La Fresh Group. It's an anti aging botanical moisturizer. And it's one of those foil packs, but it's got the upgrade where it has the dispensy. Uh, in the end though you probably still have to cut it open to get the last of the sample out. So this has hyaluronic acid, cucumber, aloe, A, C, and E, um, licorice root, ginkgo, grapeseed, uh, it's cruelty-free, biodegradable, uh, highly natural, not organic, paraben-free, sulfate-free, dye-free, triclosan-free, whatever that is, PEG-free, no fragrance, or animal byproducts. So like no lanolin and things like that. Um, it's got caffeine in it, so it's going to have a lifting or tightening all kinds of botanicals some peptides it seems like it would be seems like it would be very general purpose moisturizer tons of stuff in it um, plus the caffeine and the botanicals 
you know, I don't know that it's targeted, but it, it certainly can't hurt unless you're allergic. Um, okay, so a lot came out when I squeezed it. And it just smells like hand lotion. Nothing. A subtle, subtle cucumber. A little rub it in. I've done this in before in unboxings where now I can't smell anything else. Um, I'm never going to learn. It's light, it's fresh, it's clean, it's not overwhelming like that grapefruit stuff from last week. This eyeliner did not set though. It came right off. So, be noted. The Hakari liner did not set. It came right off with the lotion. That's not going in a water line. completely gone. Maybe I should use this as a makeup remover. Let's see. We're going to pull out Mana Kadar, who is a person. She's a lovely woman who has beauty line, cosmetics, and skin care. This is a product called Sheer Glow. And this is an 8 mil sample. I'll give you an example with the size of my thumb, basically. And this is a pink highlighter cream. I have a pink highlighter that's pressed powder, and I love it. So I think I'll like this as a highlighter. I may add it to a moisturizer also. Can't decide. Except I don't think I want to be that glowy. Earlier when I opened this, it went <clears throat> So let's hope I don't squeeze the crap out of it this time. I already squeezed the crap out of it. Okay, so this is going on top of the Echo Beauty moisturizer sample. Just so you know. Pretty, 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 pretty. Can't hurt to waste pink highlighter. Okay. So that's the Mana Kadar Sheer Glow. Let's reach into the bag again. Malin and Getz Mojito Lip Balm. Soothing fatty acid absorption technology. This is looks like a full size lip balm. I've heard online that this actually says for adult use only, so I'm gonna look. Adult use only. Let's look at the ingredients. I'm reading. Sorry. I know that's really boring to do on camera, isn't it? I don't see anything that screams rum. That's Okay, so it's got an actual applicator tip, like the Blistex tubes have that angled. Let's give this a push out. It smells minty. Mojito is mint and rum and lime. It's clear. Not too sticky.
It's not sticky at all. Moisturizing feeling. Light. And just a hint of mint, hint of lime. All over, I'd say. Score, I'll use it. So, I'm going to reach back into my bag. And I'm gonna pull out Pacifica Natural Mineral Coconut Eyeshadow. Shade is Treasure. Lasting eyeshadow infused with coconut for a velvety finish. Vegan, cruelty-free, formulated without color, parabens, and petroleum. I can't read with my glasses on. Mica, so it's sparkly. Sterates and eye rides and coconut oil. Safflower seed oil. <sighs> Portion of the proceeds support clean water. That's interesting. Pacifica is, I believe, it doesn't say it here. Crash. I believe Pacifica is a Portland, Oregon brand. I thought it would have said it on the packaging. And is this glued in? This is glued in. Ah. Apparently they really wanted it to stay in the package. Aha. Open and extrude. Pacifica. Natural Beauty. Treasure. Portland, Oregon. Yes. PacificaBeauty.com Okay, so we open this up. Smooth feeling. That is super shiny. Coppery bronze almost metallic right there this is Pacifica treasure I'll use that maybe no it doesn't smell like coconut smells it does smell though but not of coconut I don't know what it smells like the packaging is I'm gonna break this pretty soon I can tell you that right now it just comes off so maybe it won't break it'll just constantly come apart That's back on. There you go. Single eyeshadow. Good sized pan. It's gonna and it's super shiny. So this is make a nice actually it's very similar to what I have on today. Very similar to what I'm wearing today. Okay, so that's the products. Now here's the bag. Blue vinyl, white vinyl, coral tab, zipper, coral lined. So if you, I mean, I dig the colors combo. I think that having one side, two solids, it's a little odd, but I dig it. It's a nice shape. It's a nice size. And I 
I think it's well actually it's actually well constructed compared to some bags that I have seen. And the zipper is easy to use. So I dig the bag. I do. Let's recap and get out of here. Echo Beauty, good day. Day moisturizer, lots of botanicals and caffeine. Hikari eyeliner in the shade Storm, which is gunmetal, and it came off. It did not set. It came off by putting moisturizer on the back of my hand. So that might be an iffy thing to use. Mail in and gets mojito lip balm. I like it. Uh, what it did do though, actually, the I have on the Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm in Sultry, and it made it not matte. If I had been thinking, I would have realized. It also made it look orangier than what it is. So it kind of changed the color of the lip product I had on. Note. And the Manicadar uh, Sheer Glow Cream Highlighter Shimmer Lotion, it's called. And the Pacifica Treasure Single Eyeshadow. So that is Ipsy, January 2015. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, five items. Um, three full size and two samples and this is a great size sample for highlighter so all in I think the value of this bag is gr substantial I think they did a really good job sourcing my products at least so Ipsy another thumbs up Step right and I'm out.